Hey guys and welcome back. So today it's going to be a really exciting video. I'm going to be doing my October Ipsy um, product review. And I'm also going to throw in a purchase that I made recently with Ofra and show you some of those products as well. So it's going to be two videos combined into one. So for today, I did want to do something different with my hair. It is a little bit oily, so I chose to do something more slicked back. Um, I'm really into these kind of tiny hoops right now. My skin is a little red. I do have like some acne around my temples and my chin. My eyes are a little irritated. I do have really bad allergies, so I took allergy medicine. I'm hoping that works. I already went ahead and did my um, eye concealer. And I've really been loving this Kat Von D translucent powder. So my eyes are already concealed. I do have a primer in the bag, so that's why nothing else is done. And we're going to kind of be using these Ipsy products to complete my look for today. So originally, I just thought that every month the Ipsy bag comes in that packaging that I had last time, the really like um, fuchsia colored one, but it doesn't. So every month it comes in a different color package. So this month is like light pink. It has Ipsy on the front, and every bag has a kind of theme. So, for October's Ipsy bag, the bag theme is um, Betty Boo. So it comes like this, the front is like really shiny, and the back is kind of sequenced. Um, for the month of October, you get to choose one of your products. So what I did is I chose... The primer so the primer that I chose is I'm trying to find her name oh god I hate things that have really confusing names um Camelina I want to say and strobe luminizing primer and it's from Fine. I have no idea and it is it says on the back what it is so it's vegan no mineral oil no gluten um, type allergenic it comes with seed oil rose flower water okay so it's not tested on animals it's vegan um, GMO free and gluten free so like an organic kind of a primer so this is the one that I chose to get for the one product you choose. So I'm gonna be using that. And then the funny thing is, hold on one minute. So then the funny thing is, I actually wanted the next product and I was gonna choose either this or the primer and I ended up getting both. So I was gonna try the Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. It's like a cleanser, um, but an acne treatment. So I ended up getting both things that I wanted so that was pretty cool I do have some acne now but I use my cleansers at night so this won't be used today this will be used in another video and then I got two more things so then I got space cakes space case cosmetics seen from space highlighter so it looks like this it's kind of cool Again, it's kind of like space um, themed, this brand, and it's uh, 1B is the highlighter that I got. And then the last thing that I got is an eyeshadow from, I hate these names, Kelita. So it's. Kelito Cosmetics. It's, I guess it's a foil. It's that um, diamond foils, but the color is called Sizzle. And it looks like this. It's like little diamonds uh, pressed into the eyeshadow, so that's really cute. So we're gonna use all of these things to do a look. The only thing is. 
the highlighter. I don't know if I'm going to use the highlighter and the cleanser in today's video. I will swatch the highlighter anyway, but I want to do the Ulfra, um unpackaging with you guys, and I might want to use what's in there instead. But I will still swatch the highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the primer. I tucked my hair back. Oh, it has a seal in. You can see the seal. Okay, back to the primer. So I'm going to be applying this primer. So I do feel like this primer is really like thick, like a sunscreen in consistency. Um, but because it is like organic and stuff is one of the main reasons why I did get it. From like my drunk elephant stuff to a lot of the face things or skincare products that I use, they do tend to be more organic. Whenever I use a primer, I go over my nose a bit because I do have really dry skin within this area. And because I don't have any face stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do my face stuff and then come back. So really quick, when I was doing my foundation, I wanted to point out something. I don't know if you could see, but around my mouth is very red today usually red but it's not that bad the primer I feel is like giving me a like highlighter pink color to my nose and I feel like my pores are really dried out looking so again my skin for today is really dry so it just could be that it didn't work good with today and what is going on with my lip I have no idea. But anyway. So for now I am done with my face makeup. Some of the stuff that I am finding from the primer. Because I don't know. You can really pick up on camera. But it's leaving around my nose area. Really bumpy. And then I did notice them. Even though I didn't take it directly on my lip area. I did around the lip area. And I did find that my lip was really irritated. I do have hyperpigmentation around my mouth. Sometimes my lip does get a little bit red. But it's a little bit more red than normal. So I'm going to like keep using the product. And over time give you um, at a later time a review of how it is as you use it. But for right now I'm not loving the primer. But that's okay. Today um, I'm going to be doing more of a smoky kind of an eye. The Kaleido Sizzle Eyeshadow is more of a silvery taupe. So I'm going to go ahead, do the eyes, and then I'll come back. Sizzle Diamond Foils Eyeshadow. I did do more of a smoky without any black, more of a taupe, silvery, kind of a smoky eye. Oh wait, I did have a lip gloss too. Oh, and you get the Betty Boop lip gloss. And, um, Betty Boop, um, Ipsy Collaboration, Lip Gloss, and All Jazzed Up. So they give you a card of everything you get in the Ipsy bag as well. So we're going to use that too. So right now I'm going to give you a swatch of the eyeshadow and the highlighter. So this is Space Case Highlighter. Um, and I don't even know that you can see it. But it's more like a gold kind of. So that is the eyeshadow. And it is um, more like a silvery taupe is how I would describe it. Sorry this video isn't shambles. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do lips. So I don't really want to wear a lipstick today, and I do think that this lip gloss is going to be a little bit sheer. So I'm going to line my lips with a liner just to give it some color. Everything is like so dry today. My lip is like all crumbly. So now I'm going to open up this lip gloss and all jazzed up. Did you just hear that? Something is going on outside. I'm minding my own goddamn business. Okay. So, yeah. So, anytime you get some kind of gloss or a liquid eyeshadow, you should like tap it and like move it around to loosen up the product. Ooh. Ooh, this tastes really good. So it is more kind of a sheer lip gloss. It tastes like cupcakes. It smells really good. Um, my lip liner literally just came right off the wand. Um, I usually clean it and then I'll put it back. It has what I could see like a really like bright pink sparkle and like a light silvery and gold sparkle too so it's like a mixture of different sparkles and a clear gloss but I do really like the gloss and it tastes really good so I'm gonna swatch the gloss for you if I'm burping it's just like every day I film before I eat so it's gonna happen. So I don't know if you could really see, but this is the gloss. It's the Betty Boo Times Ipsy All Jazz Lip Gloss. So I really do like it. It has cute packaging too. Um, so yeah, I swatched all the products from the Ipsy um, October bag. The Betty Boop one. Um, overall, I do really like the gloss. The primer, I still have to give it time because, like I said, I'm going to insert pictures at the end of this video. I'm going to try to if I have enough time. But my skin is really like bumpy around my nose. Um, I'll have to get back to you about the cleanser and the highlighter that will be in another video. And I really did like the eyeshadow from Kaleido Cosmetics, the Sizzle eyeshadow. Um, it was really pigmented and it's like a really nice taupey silver. Okay, so now that concludes this part of the video. And that is the October Ipsy Glam Bag. Overall, the Ipsy um, Glam Bags are really good to get if you are someone into makeup because it just gives you more of an experience of different makeup brands and different kinds of skincare and products and whatnot so that is done let's wrap that up and now we're going to move into ofra cosmetics my purchases really loved my ofra highlighter that i got in my september ipsy bag which i'm going to show you to do a a swatch um, video and because I liked it so much, I wanted to get one that fit me a little better, my skin tone, because I felt like the one from the Ipsy is such a beautiful color, but it was giving me like a residue streak um, on my skin because I'm so fair. And I found out that the one I'm going to show you that I got from the September Ipsy bag is Rose Gold, which I don't intend to usually go for in a highlighter, but you don't get to pick from Ipsy. And it's okay because Ipsy does give you really nice products, but it's probably a little bit too dark for me. So starting off with my Ofra purchase that I recently um, made. They give you a free cool as a cucumber primer, which I didn't know. And if it's different every time, I will be ordering more from them. 
I got the Ornament um, Christmas Collection Pillow Talk Mini. Comes like an ornament that can hang, but we'll be ruining that and opening it today. I also did get a full size highlighter, liquid to baked formula, um, the Nikki Tutorials Collab, and Glazed Donut. Which we will also be opening today. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch these two and then I'm going to put one on to my skin. So this is the Glazed Donut. So it looks like this. I do have makeup in front of me, so I did cover the mirror, but you could probably see. So this is glazed donut. And now we're going to ruin that beautiful packaging, and we're going to swatch. So I finally got it out, and this is the mini pillow talk. And it looks like this. It's more pink. So I'm going to go ahead. Pink one is more like a iridescent-y white toned one. So I do think for today's video I'm going to be applying the full size glazed donut one. So let's see how this goes on. So I like to apply highlighter with my fingers because I do find sometimes with a brush my foundation can move depending on the primer so that is glazed donut and then in the pictures I insert you will see if there's any kind of residue to it, but I don't think there will be. My nose is so bumpy from the primer. So I do think this is like a really good kind of a match for I want to just leave you kind of with a little bit of a comparison. So this is the highlighter, um, the Ofra Madison Miller collab in Sea Shimmer. And this is the one that left me with a little bit of a residue. It is rose gold. So. That is the swatch and you could even see I'm on my skin. It's like a little bit. Of a residue leaving on my skin a little bit of a residue so I do I am gonna keep all three and use all three for different kind of purposes. I mean, the glazed donut and the pillow talk they would be a better match for my pale skin so that is all for today's video I'm gonna be inserting some pictures of today's makeup look I hope that you like this video and kind of a glimpse inside of the um, October Ipsy bag. So that is all. I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye guys.